They did a draw and I won the lottery. And the marble had come out. There was two years uh, national service to be done. I was more than happy to do my time. We were brought up that way. It was our way of life that you did do your duty and that was your duty to, uh, to your country. Ray Buckley and Keith Gent were conscripted into the Australian Army when their birth dates came out in a national lottery. They were 20 year olds when they were sent to fight in Vietnam. Keith had played nine games for Essendon, but his promising league career ended as a result of wounds sustained in combat. Ray played footy in every Australian state, even played in front of the head of state. The two men didn't know each other, until last month when the Essendon and Collingwood Football Clubs flew them to Ho Chi Minh City, the old Saigon. It was the first time they'd been to Vietnam since the war. There we go. After you. In you go. Keith arrived first with former Essendon captain Gary O'Donnell. They'd known each other since Keith coached the club's under-19s. But he's made the decision to come has probably taken a lot of courage and uh, you know, I, I hope to perhaps play a part in that to make it as, as uh, comfortable for him. Good luck. Good luck. Quite frankly, I, I said when I got home and sort of got settled back into life that I'd never go back there again. There. Yeah, this had been asked of me 10, 15 years ago, I would have said I couldn't have coped with it. Ray was accompanied by his son Nathan, the former Collingwood captain. This is just such a, a, a fantastic opportunity to be able to go back there and share it with him. Um, and that I don't know how it's going to impact on me. The thing for me is just to approach some issues that that Dad and I have never discussed. Well, there's a gap um, in our life. We, li we lived it a lot on the move, but we lived it very close. I know he's very keen to get back there. I know he's even more keen to have the opportunity to share it with me. War never treats two people the same. Ray Buckley's torment came after the war, when he returned to Australia. While Private Keith Gent was evacuated out after being wounded in a jungle fight, for Keith, the mental scars have taken much longer to heal. I just shut it, just completely shut it out and didn't share it with anybody. For 25 years, I wouldn't have said boo to anyone about it and nobody ever knew what I was, was really thinking. Looking forward, yeah. to, looking forward to meeting you, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Pleased to meet you. I believe yeah. we're in, a bit, in this place yesterday. at the same time. You wouldn't believe it. The tanks of the National Liberation Front enter the city, and then two tanks just rush down the gate. So you can say this is the final point of the war in Vietnam. Over 500 Australians lost their lives in the Vietnam War, and 3,000 were injured, among them Private Keith Gent. Coming to this Saigon museum and seeing the choppers makes Keith feel uneasy. Yeah, it's mind-boggling, really, the effect that it's had on a lot of people. From Buntow riding Chinooks to the dust at Nui Dad. I'd been in and out of choppers now for months. So that's our artillery whip. So you'd open this out and it'll flick back the brass cartridge, which is about that big. See, the, you've got a, a resting bay here to feed them and that's also for recoil. Did you understand the war? Uh, understand the war. I understood the Army's version of the war. We are supposed to try and protect South, South Vietnam from being invaded from, by North Vietnam. The whole thing was that they didn't know who the enemy was. We didn't really know who the enemy was. The my generation don't know a lot. I couldn't tell you. You don't know what the war was about? Who was fighting whom? Well, I know that it was apparently North v South and I think the South it was that got support from the Americans. In the end, like most wars, people are in there wondering why, what are we, what are we there for?